Well, hello, hello, Young and the Restless Daily Recap fans. Today's daily recap is for Friday, July the 28th, 2023. Friday, July the 28th. Well, they jump right in, right on it, you know, just real quick in a hurry. They stage a pre-wedding argument between Billy and Jack in the house. And of course, Ashley's there. It's for Ashley's benefit. And, and Tucker's there, you know, and Billy's saying, why the rush? Why there's there's no need for you to rush into a marriage. So, you know, the same, well, yeah, 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 setting the stage. Now, the problem that's going to happen is there's going to come a point where Billy's going to really mean, well, Billy does mean what he says. Really, honestly, he does. Billy, like Billy told Jack and Diane, look, it's not a far stretch. You both know I feel Diane should step away. I mean, he, he's, Billy's being Billy. But see, some real truths are going to be said that's going to really stick and, and hurt one of the two and then what's gonna happen is like what they want is billy to become a mole for ashley in her company well don't let that happen because and that's one of the things jack said but look don't get sucked in you know because the grass is not going to be greener over there yeah you better worry about that jack because quite frankly the grass could be greener could be greener but see, the problem is, Ashley has said some pretty mean things to Billy, hasn't she? She hasn't been the best big sister to him, especially as of late, because he was on Jack's side. So anyway, whatever, Tracy comes down and, and tries to stop the nonsense, you know. No, actually, Tracy doesn't come down and try to stop the nonsense. The next thing we have is... Um, Let's see. Oh, they go to Adam and Victor. Adam comes in pissed, which I would have been too, because, you know, Nate threw it in his face. Oh, you trying to roll Newman Media under a dustus? Oh, that's not going to happen. So he came in and he told his father, why would you tell the, he goes, what I said, what we said in confidence to the enemy. And Victor looked at him. Son, why is it you decide that Newman Media, why would you refer to Newman Media, a company that your company is going to be folded into as the enemy? That is your problem. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That he goes, you are going to be a subsidiary of it. Newman Enterprises is not your enemy. This family is not your enemy. And so Victor just finally, he's had it. He says, you know, I have tried for so many years to bring you into the fold. And I've had it. <laughs> I've had it enough. Pretty much you will fall in line or you're going to get out. And he goes, oh, once again, are you already once again? You're trying to kick me out of the family again. And he's like, for the record, I have never kicked none of my children out of the family. Which he hasn't. He's kicked them out the business, but not the family, right? So he just said, you know, I'm trying to save you from yourself. And he goes, and when won't you get it through your thick head? I run this family. I run this company. I run all of you. I'm thinking, see, there you go, daddy. That's where you cross the line. How do you run a family of adults? What kind of leverage do you, now I do understand it's, there are a lot of families that have a very tight family dynamic they're very loyal and they've got a matriarch and a patriarch and the matriarch and patriarch pretty much dictate or people want to get their the family wants to get their approval yada 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 but when it gets to where the matriarch slash or patriarch or both won't even let you breathe 
that's when there's always a rebellion. There's always discontent. See, and Victor, he sets up little, he plays with them a lot. He, he plays with their emotions. He plays with a lot in his children's lives, right? But he told Adam, and he goes, oh, so he goes, and I will remove you. I will change the whole dynamics and remove you from it. And he goes, oh, so now you're taking away a dustus from me too. And he goes, yes, if you cannot get in line, you will be, you will be out. And he goes, let me let me tell you how this is going to work. A dustus directly answers to me directly because I'm going to monitor and I'm going to see the progress you all are making and I'm going to see can you actually work together as a family which is my intent and he goes so what's your answer son because these are the terms and he had given Adam a drink. Adam never took the drink, sipped the drink, but he goes almost like, aye, aye, captain. <laughs> it was still a disrespectful fine if that's the way you're going to have it. He didn't walk away at all because what, what Adam has nothing. But as he's leaving, he says, by the way, I offered the job of chief ITO Chief IT to Phyllis Summers. And Victor said, and I'll bet you that was a unilateral decision on your part, wasn't it? And Adam looked at him and said, of course. Like wouldn't want to let you down. Of course it was. And he turned and walked away. See? And so Victor gets so upset. He heads to the punching bag and is punching, 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 punching. I'm thinking, man, you're going to have a heart attack. You're going to have a heart attack with that, right? But what I didn't, okay, heart attack with that. So now Jack and Diane come back home from their wedding. Um, well, Tracy is there. She's their witness. The only person there, Tracy's there. Um, but they come back home and of course they had to go hit the sheets. But look, their love scene looked much better than Audra and Kyle's. I'm telling you. Audra needs to, to lose the bra. They have tube tops that keep you down, right? Keep it from jiggling. Because Diane love scene looked like the love scene. See, Diane had this, they had the sheet. And that's what they do. The sheet is perfectly positioned. So it's not to really show anything. But Audra's always got to have her bra on in the scene. It's like, okay, what's what's up with that? No, let's use the sheet. Soap operas have been using the sheet for decades to cover the parts you don't want shown. Because unfortunately, with the bra still on, that's just the quickie. The bra still on is usually if you're on a couch and you don't have time to really lay the sheets right. But look, Sharon and Chance in that back office, oh, she had the sheet. She didn't have no bra on, you know? So my whole thing is, okay, when is Audrey going to get with the program with her sex scene? You know, what's the reason it, it ain't right? So... <laughs> Uh, Kyle has the nerve to brag that he has taken on Adam Newman in the past and has won. And I'm trying to rack my brain to say, when? When did that happen, everybody? Because I don't seem to remember that. He had the nerve to say, yeah, I just took the long road and I systematically got him out of Jabot. And I thought, is he trying to take credit for this last time when Adam worked at Jabot, first and last time, and Adam left? Adam 
didn't leave because of Kyle. The Kyle won. Adam did not want to be there at all. At all. And Adam brought it to uh, Jack's attention what Kyle did. Kyle was working with Victor. Kyle got heavily chastised and Summer was pissed, right? But Jack, uh, uh, Adam's whole thing is, you know what? I don't like selling lipstick and perfume. I, that's one thing my dad was right. And I, doggone it. This ain't me. It wasn't him. And he told Jack, Jack, look, thank you very much, but no, I, I don't want there to be tension between you and your... Jack goes, no, uh-uh. I'm the CEO of, of, of Jabot. Kyle were the CEO of Marchetti. No, no, no. There's no riff with you working here. Trust me. But Adam's like, Jack, it's just not for me. So yeah, Kyle pompousness. And Audra's like, after she buttoned up, do tell, how did you beat Adam? And then that's when he told her that soft, cushy lie. That ain't true. That's not how that happened. Adam could run circles around a young Kyle Newman. Please. Anyway, um, Abby and Ashley are supposed to be going over wedding plans in the lobby of the athletic club. You know, Abby's never in the society anymore, right? You think she would have had her mother come to society and she's just talking to her mother over on the couch area of society. But see, look, the GCAC is now the hub for everybody in town, right? Everybody's there. So anyway, um, Ashley could not even talk about the wedding plans because, oh, the horrible day she had. Jack and, and, and Diane are getting married right now with the justice of the, the peace. And Abby's like, wow, that was fast. And he's ruining his life. He's just going on and on. And so finally, Abby said, you know, mom, wait, look, you're not going to like what I, I have to say here. But Uncle Jack is a grown man. Can't you let him live his own life? No, no. That affects my father's company. That affects the legacy. And so Abby said, but you and Tucker have already formed another company. So why would you care about Jabot? Because this is my father. You just don't, you obviously seriously don't understand. And she goes, no, mom, I, I, look, I have to say this. This anger, this is consumed, consuming you. And part of me makes you think, makes me think, are you really angry at Diane or are you angry at yourself? And she looked at her and she says, why would I be angry at myself? She goes, because deep down, I don't think you really want to marry Tucker. Deep down, I think you don't trust him. And you're mad at yourself for going this far. And she goes, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I'm thinking, no, no, that is probably hits a whole lot. Home. Yeah, she does. Whatever, Ashley. Right. So then Tucker walks in. Actually, Tucker walks through the turnstile doors. Billy is standing uh, by the bottom of the stairs. And before Billy gets there and Tucker, Kyle and Audra come down the stairs and they see Ashley and Summer. I mean, Ashley and Abby talking and Audra's like no 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 Billy and Tucker talk first and Tucker's like I'm surprised you're here versus at your brother's wedding and Billy looked at him and said why would I be at my brother's wedding you were at the house earlier I expressed how I felt about that so why would I be there he goes, well, you know, families do have changes of hearts and blah, blah, blah. And Billy looked at him. He goes, yet here I am. And like you said, families, and you ain't in it. So it's none of your business. And Billy walks away and he goes to the bar. 
So Tucker goes over to Abby and Ashley. And that's when Audra and Kyle come down the stairs. And Ashley looks over there. She goes, what is happening with that? And Abby takes a look. And Tucker goes, oh, you didn't know? No, that, he goes, no. And they, they go to the bar. Audra's sitting in the bar stool seat and Kyle's kind of, he's standing and he's kind of leaning over her. You know how that little intimate, what would you like to drink? You know, Kyle and Karen, what anybody thinks or says, right? So, but look, if Victor Newman would have walked in the door, he would have cared because Summer's his granddaughter, right? And right now you're working for Victor Newman. So Summer says, I mean, Summer, Tucker says, no, that's just two colleagues having a probably drinks and, and, and maybe dinner. And Ashley goes, that looks like more than colleagues coming for drinks and they're going to have dinner. And so then Jack and Diane walk in because they get up and they say, look, they would love to spend the night together in the bed celebrating their honeymoon, but they had a plan to put into place. See all this planning, right? Everybody planning. So they got dressed to go out, you know, to the GCAC because that's where Billy and them set up the encounter. And they walk in and Diane's like, oh, sh Kyle is here. I wasn't expecting him to be here. And Jack said, me either. He goes, we could call it off. She goes, no, no. Of course Diane's going to say no. No, so be it. So they go over to Kyle and actually Kyle, Jack's at the bar when Kyle and Audra come, not Jack, Billy's at the bar when Kyle and Audra come and sit down and he goes, Kyle, you didn't go to your parents' wedding. And Kyle is like, I have meetings. And so Jack says, what happened? Kyle, um, Billy says, what happened to supposed to have meetings what in the day throughout the night and I'm thinking careful Billy you're giving it away how do you know that how do you know what 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 Kyle said to his parents and he goes hey a meeting got canceled so here we are because Billy's like you couldn't have taken an hour out of your day to stand support your parents and Kyle goes what's it to you you weren't there right so then Jack and Diane come over and they say, Kyle, and Billy just looks and they say something to Kyle about, I thought you had meetings. And he says, yeah, but they're done. How did it go? And so they were like, well, it went fine. And, and Diane says, Tracy took a lot of pictures and Kyle is looking like, oh, can't wait to see him. And Billy says, really? can't wait to see him but you couldn't take an hour out of your day to go be there and Kyle says what's your problem right so anyway Jack and Billy Billy lays into Jack uh just you know it's the staged fight it was a continuation of the fight at the house before and Billy and Jack are going at it and Ashley stands up and she tells Tucker you know what mm -mm. I don't even want to see this. Let's go. Because she's not liking the, the hurtful things being said back, which Ashley, you're the main one doing all, you're used to you doing all the hurtful talk and you justified, right? So then Bill, Jack tells Billy he trusts Diane more than he ever trusts Billy. <laughs> and Billy said, well, of course you do, Jack. Of course you say that. And he goes, why don't you leave? And Billy says, this is a public place. He goes, why don't I leave? No, you should just go. And Billy says, you know, Billy says, or what? Or what? And so Jack says something to Billy. And now they really, he goes, you want to take, oh, Jack, you want to take this outside? Jack is coming in. So now Kyle rushes and gets in front of Billy. And Diane said, Jack, Jack. And Ashley's just looking like, wow, right? And I'm thinking, are you guys, you and Tucker, that's stupid. Tucker's not that stupid. So don't be that stupid now, right? So Billy says, no, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm done. I've had it. Now, Billy didn't say I quit. I thought Jack was going to end up saying you're fired. 
right? But none of that happened. So Billy leaves and um, Billy goes storming out. And Kyle, because at one point when he said stuff, because he was talking about Diane, she's going to tear it down. She's going to burn it to the ground. And Kyle's like, watch it. Don't talk about my mother like that. So I'm like, shut up, Kyle. So Jack leaves. I mean, Billy leaves and Jack and Diane, they goes, you know what? Jack goes, look, let's just take our, our, our uh, celebration elsewhere. So they go up to where the doors are. And they turn at Diana's Jack. Go, Diane goes, you think they bought it? Oh, she's, Jack is really flustered. She's like, do you think they bought it? And he goes, I don't know. And he's doing the, you know, Jack does his face. He goes, let's hope so. He goes, let's, let's just go. And they went towards the jazz lounge area. So I think, I think that's where they act. Cause they didn't go out the turnstile doors. Right. So then it shows Ashley coming into the coffee house. Billy's sitting at the table with his cup of coffee. Ashley comes in and she sits down and she says, so what are we going to do about Jack? He's a grown man, Ashley. Grown man. So anyway... We shall see. They did have scenes for next week, but I'm not going to go into all the scenes for next week. Um, but that's it. That was it for Friday. You know, it's going to be more, more. I want to say baby mama drama, but ain't no baby mama involved. It's more going to be family drama on the Newman Inn and the Avid Inn. So that's it. And everybody, listen, have a phenomenal weekend. And I'll be back on Monday for another daily recap of The Young and the Restless.